Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. <laughs> Why are you smiling again? <laughs> I can't help it. I'll never be able to say welcome back the same again. <laughs> yeah, we, we got to, we'll share it with you guys. I got to try to find it again. One of our family members did a little musical compilation of Cindy saying, welcome back. <laughs> it's so interesting. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Oh boy, today feels like a crazy day, does it not? It does, and it, it, you know, this tone, I, I don't know any way to really frame this in a positive way, but we're going to try. Absolutely, so is, <laughs> the question is, what's going on? Does the White House know about a zombie apocalypse or what? Mm -hmm. Because they're erecting a concrete wall near the White House as if they're getting ready for what happens when people breach the the gate here you know mm -hmm. they they climb over the spiked gate and and they're heading for the white house this is what this is what it looks like construction of what is deemed to be a temporary concrete wall situation going up spotted at the beginning of the week white house has not released any official statements regarding how the construction works are being put together what they're for you know what are they for what are they afraid why are they building a wall around the white house when you know previously we were hearing nothing but walls along the border well you know this administration feels the need to create a wall around its its, its residents mm -hmm. right and m many people including myself are thinking okay you know what's up their sleep why do we need these walls and you know, the guides, of course, chimed in immediately, and they're saying that they want us to move forward looking at this as a positive, I'm sorry, this is the best I can explain it, a positive situation to learn about our throat chakras. This is all about using your throat chakra, understanding yourself, understanding that you can make a difference when you speak something. Well, are they expecting like a quiet riot or a twisted sister reunion? Know. You know, I mean, do they expect people out there going, we're not going to take it? I know, I know, I know, I know. That's where we're going with everything. It it's it's bad. I mean, there's really no way to make this a positive thing. However, this is also a great time of healing. If you look at the night skies and you look at the astrology of all of this this is all about healing on a certain level and we don't we're not expected to look at this the way they do they're on a different um, energy they're on a different dimension they see things differently we see things as oh crap understandably so well again life is about learning and growth and boy we got some growth ahead of us oh, let's just put it that way yeah we can safely say that so we see this tweet that the Supreme Court is expected to rule on the dates for men today. Ah, oh, 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 as we see some of the, you know, tweets after it. Yeah, yeah, I figured that after looking the picture of concrete barriers going up, not looking good. You know, I mean, how many of us do have any faith in the Supreme Court at this time or in any government at all, which... Hey, this is part of our our growth period that we are in. And so here we take a look at what's going on. Yeah, I mean, that's just something that you can't ignore once it's seen. You can't even unsee it, nor can you unfeel it once you have that impression tagged in your in your body. It's like who who can't say or who could make anything positive out of this? This is so difficult. You know, if a government has to construct more and more walls to keep themselves safe, I think that, you know, it's safe to say that the majority of the people in the country that they're governing probably don't feel like they're doing a very good job. You know, and we, we're also paying for this, all of us. Yeah, and there was record taxes again. Again, we're, you know, the, the key is getting out of the system. Getting out of the system is key. So, you know, we see it, it, everybody's talking about this. This is a, a huge buzz going on right now. And, you know, you got to just wonder, you know, how bad do they expect it to get? You know, and, and I know there's, 
there's a lot of people that are, are thinking all sorts of different things are the major item. And, you know, some will think that it's it's really all about the grand solar minimum. Others will think, well, it's really all about an incoming rogue planet, uh, a comet that's going to hit us all, you know, and then others believe it's just simply <laughs> the controllers doing what they do. Right. And our part is to stand our ground period but you know we're not advocating any violence in any way shape or form but we do need to speak up this is totally unacceptable it is you know there's there's a lot of absolute insanity in this world and the world is is heading um it feels like we're heading towards a breaking point it feels like we are well you know if you thought the cuban missile crisis was bad you know hey you know we're we're right there again and it's different this time, though, because it, it's it's just, you know, this is, again, I go back to that Nostradamus letter to his son where he talks about the fact of there being a global war, but also revolutions, countries under the grip of revolutions that last for years. Here we see Russia says NATO talks unsuccessful and Poland is warning of war. Yeah, and uh, we have this going on, too. I mean, all of this is not adding up to a good soup. You know, well, these are going on concurrently, and it's like one is shadowing the other. And I think people are, are catching on as to, you know, again, the tactics that are used. As we see Moscow bla blasts Senate bill to sanction... Putin as crossing the line amid unsuccessful NATO talks. After two days of Russian NATO talks, first on Monday in Geneva and the latest Wednesday in Brussels, and a third being held Thursday in Vienna at the Organization for Security Cooperation in Europe, there's a consensus that no progress has been made. No progress has been made. In fact, in, in reality, um, it's so bad that Russia may deploy troops to Venezuela and Cuba if tensions with the U.S. continue to rise. Hence, you know, this is what I was men mentioning, Cuban Missile Crisis 2. Uh, because if, you know, NATO is, and they are, um, just moving all their equipment into Ukraine, you know, again, it, you, I've heard people say it's just like, say, if... if Texas left the Union, and then Texas invited uh, Russia to come and deploy its, you know, weapons and troops in Texas. You know, it, it's kind of similar in some ways. And, you know, we could all agree to disagree on certain things. But one thing I think we could all agree on is that it's getting pretty hot. Oh, for sure. You know, and I'm glad that you explain that to people so they understand it in a certain way. These are just things I can look at and automatically have an understanding that, no, this isn't good. But people need to have a better visual, and that really helps. Now, the guys that said that we have changed timelines to a degree, mm -hmm. um, although this is eerie, uh, very similar to like what I had the visions of, because when I saw in, in my visions of the U.S. being um, invaded, and it goes back to like 1984, um, I saw troops that were what I took to be from Latin American countries uh, in, in Florida. And in my vision, I was in Florida. And, you know, that was perhaps part of you know, why I left in some ways, because maybe I was trying to change the timeline, even though I love Florida as a state and you know, enjoyed living there. Um, that's where I always saw uh, you know, the invasion. But I, I do know um, that for sure it would be in multiple areas. And then, of course, there's already what we've gotten from the guides you know, over a hundred thousand sleepy cellular units, yeah. if you know what we mean, in place. And just think about this, you know, think about the fact that millions have illegally crossed the border in the last year or two. Millions. What percentage? If just 10% were actually on a mission, that's a huge amount. And when we look at everything that's going on here, 
you know, this is, again, m more reason to be as prepared as possible for anything that happens. And again, it could very well be that at some point in time, we're going to have to just basically be able to live with what we have in our house for maybe months. Right. You know, and we always like to talk with people and not spread fear, not spread fear by any means. However, we want people to be prepared. This, They have been able to work with the timeline to an extent, to an extent. However, we're all going to have to understand that we need to be on our own. We need to prepare for ourselves because I don't see the government coming to gallop up and rescue anybody. No, you know, that that's like you know, I wanted to say it's kind of like, you know, if you're getting picked on by a bully, are you going to wait for the bully to protect you? Right. I know. And, and you know, at least they're not going to help without a certain thing being done to your body. Exactly. So, you know, this is a real possibility. Again, don't don't forget the Cuban Missile Crisis in our history and how close everything was there to all out war. And so, you know, it's very it appears to be very close now. Again, Putin briefed on military options in the Ukraine. Now, officials insist it's still essential to try and pursue a diplomatic path rather than resort to violence. And the reality is, again, we, we just look back to the, the, the modus operandi of the controllers that's given to us in the Tower of Babel. You know, you can't have humanity united because then who knows what they will do. We must always keep them divided. This is, this is exactly what the controllers do. And so at a time when people are starting to wake up and, you know, certainly we're not united when it comes to the plague upon the land and our viewpoints on that but more and more people are are, are starting to find maybe some commonality though again we are divided there as well but this will again shift it, it it's that old um uh, what was that mike myers love guru drama right the first d in drama it is distraction mm -hmm. You got to get them looking somewhere else while, you know, things get put in place. And, and they do this with all their bills. It's an infrastructure bill. But mm -hmm. by the way, there's stuff in there that's going to take away um, the rest of your rights. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this is exactly what's going on. And we see U.S. advisors at work in Ukrainian Defense Ministry. And uh, how many are there? You know, there's, there's rumors uh, that there's thousands in place. And so we see this Putin declares mission accomplished in Kazakhstan as the Russian troops start their pullout. They came in, they quote unquote restored order. Really what they did was just basically prop up the government that wasn't going to be able to keep itself in uh, place because, you know, the people themselves were were rising up. And again, this is part of what they will do. They will utilize other countries uh, to, to send troops to other areas. And many people have realized this too in the past. You know, U.S. troops might not enforce certain things on U.S. citizens, but other troops from other countries might. That's right. You know, then they're putting someone who's in a position where they don't have the same things at stake. They don't have any skin in the game. They're a neutral party. As we get used to seeing military everywhere, another thousand military health workers are deployed to six states to help hospitals. And these teams are going to be arriving in Michigan, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, and Rhode Island next week. And by the way, more Cases of Havana syndrome. And again, this is some sort of targeted energy weapon that's being used. And this is among U.S. diplomats in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, these all, all of these things are just adding up to absolute no good. And here we have UK Intel services say labor donor vectored Chinese cash to British MPs for influence. So what does this mean? Well, it means basically... Uh, that a person in a very high place politically w was perhaps in the pocket of the PCC, put it up to a mirror. And this is really um, 
this is so much more expansive than than most people believe although i know a lot of you guys understand how deep this is we only have to look to the casablanca to see how deep this is absolutely i mean this is just i don't know i just have a lot of anxiety about all of this that's going on today it's it's yucky it is, it is. So UK spy catchers have accused a Birmingham-based lawyer and longtime Labour Party donor of channeling uh, fine dining where country cash to MPs in a bid to meddle in British politics. M, uh, the M15, uh, MI5 counterintelligence and counterterrorism service circulated an interference alert to MPs on Thursday warning them that British resident Chinese national Christine Cheng Kui Li was funneling funds from mainland China and Hong Kong to British MPs and candidates. And it claims she was acting on behalf of the ruling Chinese Communist Party and the United Front Work Department. So, you know, again, yeah, there are people that will just simply do anything for money, anything, including, you know, obviously and and what me- most people would think of as unthinkable and betraying your own people but again the people of the globe need to realize that we are one people and again we're under um what well, we're behind enemy lines so to speak you know again these controllers you know they don't have our best interests in mind so there's a mysterious illness in hundreds of dogs and this is in the uk all the dogs had visited beaches and uh, vomiting and diarrhea so just be aware of this if you are on the uk and hopefully this is nothing that spreads any farther i know you know we gotta understand what people will do for uh, just money and this is why we need to get back to a, a different type of energetic exchange so people cannot be taken advantage of and we see iran releases an animated video showing a drone strike on yeah, number 45's residents. Mm. They, I guess they haven't forgotten about uh, Soleimani. Right. Yeah, so, you know, again, this is all reasons to prepare. You know, um, I had, we were going to do this on a different um, computer, and I had pulled up some prices of McDonald's food, and it was amazing, like, you know, I, I, I haven't eaten at McDonald's in over 20 years, I don't think. Um, I was shocked at some of the prices. But what you can get for, you know, for your money, think about it. Think about it. Now, you know, well, hopefully you guys have been doing it already, uh, investing in organic rice, beans, lentils, maybe organic pasta, things that things that have shelf life, things that will give you, you know, multiple meals and and not necessarily give you nanu nanus Mm -hmm. if you know what i mean remember remember we were talking about those nanos and all the uh fast foods again you know think long term because there are people that will say i can't afford to buy organic and i can't afford to stock up but then we'll still go and you know order dominoes buy food from mcdonald's buy food from wendy's and all these burger king and places kentucky fried chicken and if you took that money and you just you know got a 25 pound bag of organic rice a 25 pound bag of organic lentils you know um you could get organic pasta for two dollars or less uh, a bag that will give you you know some some good good meals and and again we're just talking about stuff that's going to you know give you some shelf life too you know for for not a lot of money you can get yourself emergency meals Mm -hmm. i know you know these are things that we have to reframe in our minds if you say i can't afford organic well think you can't afford not to because if you eat these things these eat fast and die young places you're going to have a lot more co-pays at the doctor's offices. Your body is going to break down a lot faster because the food you put in your mouth actually turns into your flesh and your blood and all of these things. So if you're doing garbage in, well, guess what? That's not going to make your body really strong. Yeah. <clears throat> or I, you know, I need to get my 
blood pressure medicine or my cholesterol medicine or my, you know, uh, allergy medicines. Well, all those things for the most part can be controlled through diet and dietary changes. Then you don't have to, you know, spend the money on all those things. Mm -hmm. And again, exercise and then again, things like that are mind body. So yoga, um, qigong, meditation, chai chi, all these things can help boost the immune system, bring peace to us. And, you know, we need to be as, as strong and healthy in these times as we possibly can be. Right. And, and we need to all take on kind of this attitude of, you know, getting, getting past certain blockages. Don't look at things in front of you as a blockage. Look at it as something that you're given to make you stronger, something that you're given to teach you what you're capable of because we are all very very strong we're all very strong and that's going to kind of be put to the test in in a lot of ways and that's how the guides see it absolutely so we do want to thank our um, yes. patrons and we want to thank Jana yes. who is our newest patron thank you Jana and also thank you guys for your support on Ko-Fi where you could do a one-time donation to help support the channel and also medicinal foods. There's a link at the top of every video. Uh, good healthy products help build your immune system. It does support the channel when you use coupon code EEA. As always, guys, be really prepared out there. It looks like, you know, we're <laughs> on a crazy point in this roller coaster ride. Yes, let's think positive st thoughts still. God bless and namaste. God bless. Namaste.